Hello and welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey, chapter 97. It is the second day of the week, aka the Quadzilla workout. I am looking forward to it. Right now, I'm going a little later than I normally do. I was meeting up with the guys. Shout out Walter, shout out Shams. Nice to see them as always. But going off to the gym right now, I'm feeling good. Feeling a little hungry, but I'll drink some water and I'll be fine. Uh, especially when I start working, I think I'll be all right. But anyways, looking forward to this workout. Feeling great, feeling excellent. I'm very happy about that. So it's always nice to see the guys. So that's always great. But anyways, so to the main subject matter at hand today, I decided this yesterday while recording the falling off the horse episode, I decided to just do today, which is the opposite of the optimism video. Hopefully nothing bad happens this time, but the pessimism video. Now, personally, I'm not a pessimistic person. I don't like to look at the downside of things, obviously. I'm not one to do that. I discussed that in the optimism video, but I wanted to talk about pessimism a little bit more just because it just came up and I was like, why not? Let's talk about it. So pessimism, which we'll get into the details a little bit later, but pessimism for me, I am not a fan of it. I understand why people have these out views on life, obviously. It's not like I can sit there and be like, I don't understand it. No, I get it. Some people have had shit lives, so that kind of leads to an entire shift of viewpoint in the world. So you only see the negative in such things. And personally, I don't find that useful, but others do, and that's how they just view the world, really. I can't really say much about that except for I hope that you would change it because realistically the way that you look at the world is the way the world looks at you type deal and I know that sounds ridiculous and kind of stupid but in reality that is somewhat how the world works in a weird weird spiritual slash next level woohoo type of way the way the world works is the way you work the world really it's uh one of those things where if you compound good things good things will happen if you compound negative things negative things will happen but pessimism is something where i can understand certain aspects as to why people feel like that particularly there are times where i'm fucking down and i don't think anything's gonna go right things are in the shitter things are not going the way they're supposed to and things are just on the downturn now personally like to think of it on the opposite side that even when things are the worst they will get better that's how i see it as but i understand why people see it from the other side personally though i it is one of those viewpoints that i don't necessarily share with others and i don't 100 percent understand i will probably never will uh, as much as i would like to try to understand that viewpoint i don't think i will but I will say this, I do understand why it happens and I understand what are some of the mechanisms that might happen early in life that might cause such a viewpoint on life. Certain people will take uh, betrayals early in their life to mean so much more to them that it affects the way the rest of their life plays out. And it really just depends on the person that did the farce and or the the bad thing to them and what the level it was to them because i don't think it is an innate viewpoint to have i don't think it's like a 50 50 shot i think most people are, are optimistic but uh get turned pessimistic because of something that happens in their life i don't think that it is something that you're just a born innately pessimistic i feel like there is some type of betrayal somewhere in early life that makes it so the well is poisoned and then poisoned forever after and it is something where as much as i dislike that viewpoint on life i can understand why no some people will never be able to exit out of that because it is it's one of those things that it is so deeply rooted into the soul that sometimes trying to reverse that or escape that ideal is basically the idea of just ridding the self in its entirety which is something i don't think uh, uh, some people are willing to do but also want to do it is like they have made do with their viewpoint so what is the point of going backwards and trying to redo everything from the ground up in order to be look at it somewhere better when they've come to accept 
the way that they view the world and all that other stuff and the future and all that. There are also levels to it, obviously. I think there's also levels to the pessimism, I think, that people realize. You know, there are some people that are like so pessimistic that become nihilistic, which is a whole other subject matter. But there are some people that are like on the very low side and uh, on the upper end where it's like, all right, I don't think it's going to go well, but hopefully it does. You know, like where they're more pessimistic than optimistic, but they have that tinge of eh, it might happen, but it all just depends. And I hate the idea of something being on a scale, but this is one of those things that would be on the scale. Optimism as well. It is. I didn't really talk about it when the optimism video, but both things are on a scale depending like i said it really just does stems from the entire idea of whenever whatever happened to you early in life what factors led to that poisoning the well for yourself for the rest of life really and there are some people who through life circumstances end up changing from one to the other and vice versa so there are some people who are become pessimistic early in life but then as life progresses things happen to them that make it so they become optimistic or the other way around where they're very optimistic when they're young then something happens that makes them turn pessimistic and then they become pessimistic as they grow older and older i think that happens a lot more to people just generally speaking because of the way that the world is it's just a hard place so more people go from optimistic to pessimistic as they grow up see the evils of the world and things like that but i think there are people that just go go all the way through either in one or the other but I feel like the one if you're optimistic more so you keep that from childhood and you keep it going through throughout life and you haven't really even though you might have some down times or downs you will have a generally optimistic viewpoint while they're in the pessimistic viewpoint you'll have some people that are have that one betrayal or thing that happens to them that poisons the well then they just never get out of it and I, I know a few people that are like that and it I understand why it makes sense trying to get them out of that is the part that is seems impossible and it really it can be depending on the person but like I said if you're one of those people and maybe you have the inkling of wanting to try to get out of it you don't have to swim and jump out but you can definitely try to re get to the surface so that, that way closer to the middle ground because uh, there are a good chunk of people that are just in the middle ground where they're not really necessarily one or the other I am not a fan of necessarily middle ground people per se not necessarily i don't hate them more than those who are completely pessimistic to the point where they're nihilistic that's a whole other subject i already said that but those who are uh, in the middle for a lot of stuff like that i i'm just not a fan of it personally just because i feel like more people choose a side like you know I, I don't know how else to explain it except for if you're not choosing a side why you know living down the middle is something that is acceptable i think but also i am not necessarily a fan of it either that's just me because i don't like writing the middle of things down for me it's i don't care or i care it's one of the two indifference is somewhat of a non-factor for me but maybe that's a different subject for a different day but anyways pessimism generally speaking we'll get more into like the details of it probably like i'll go through some definitions and all that other stuff when we go on the inside but pessimism we'll discuss a couple more factors to it as well because i feel like the world also plays a big role on that but we'll get to that on the inside all right so start this day off with a seated calf raises which was annoying but that was the entire squat rack and everything was being taken up because I got there later, which it happens. It's not that huge of a deal. But anyways, back to the subject matter at hand, pessimism. I'm going to read a little bit of the Wikipedia article here. Pessimism is a mental attitude in which an undesirable outcome is anticipated for a given situation. Pessimism tends to focus on the negatives of life in general. A common question asked to test for pessimism is, is the glass half empty or full? In this situation, a pessimist is said to see the glass half empty, or in extreme cases, completely empty. That's just a little bit of a taste at the beginning. I just wanted to go through that before I continue just to kind of have an establishment of what's going on. I'm always a big fan of establishing the entire factor of what goes into something now. I think that's something I like to do in every episode. but. Generally speaking, seeing the glass half empty. Personally, as I said before, not 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 a fan of it, but I understand why people do it. And it, it is something where it's tough to 
be on the other side of it, really, because you can tell people like, you know, you should see, you know, the, the good sides of things or things like that. But sometimes the people just do not want to listen to that and or you'll just piss them off. You know, it just happens to happen sometimes like that. It is a thing where I, I think that mentally speaking, you have to have that that position predisposed to you a little bit in the sense that something happened to you. I, I discussed this in the car, but I think looking at that and exploring that is really what is half the battle. If you are a pessimistic person, I would say look into the reasons as to why I have become like this, because it's important to know. It isn't necessarily important that you change it per se, but it is good to know as to why. It's, it's always good to know the root of cause of certain things and certain outviews on life, because if this outview on life is not working for you, then you might have a chance to change it. But you have to be able to go back and see what it is that caused it and try to fix it from there but it is a tough task it isn't like something that you could possibly narrow down some people might be able to find it some people don't but it is something that is worth trying i think that the the world also has the influence on this a lot of the time so basically the way that the world is i don't necessarily think it lends itself to be an optimistic place not necessarily everywhere everyone the world maybe nature itself is also very optimistic in in general but if there are many things in the cultural zeitgeist of the world that makes it so pessimism can run wild very easily i don't blame people that become pessimistic over time because there are a lot of things that just can go wrong and you can see the examples of the good people getting screwed over by the world and the bad people getting the bad people getting well off in the world so it all just depends really and it's one of those things that it is sad to see but it's like we also take part in that so we are what we put out in the world like i said before so it is that change that has to happen really within oneself in order to change the world around them but i can understand why the shift might happen especially when you become older and, and you can see that the world just doesn't work as nicely and tightly as you would like it to or hope for it to and it's very unfortunate and i think i will get into realism because you know there's the entire idea of being realistic about things but that i will discuss in a different video because i don't think i can go into depth here slash i'm gonna need more time to talk about that i'm just a glass half empty type of person and we're back! Welcome to the workout debriefing! Exercises not filmed? None! Exercises skipped. We have three. Jefferson curls. What is it? Leg raises. And the hip abductor machine. So we have three that were skipped. An unfortunate skippage, but it had to happen because I had no time left at the gym. I had to get the hell out of there. So. With that being said though, they will be hit again in the very near future for obvious reasons because obviously I couldn't fucking hit them today. But it sucked, but I got everything else in. Five out of eight is pretty good. More than halfway done, so not too bad. Overall, pretty nice. I forgot to mention this earlier. Today's weight was 195.7. So a far cry from the weight from yesterday, which is nice. And it's great that I went down a lot and I knew it was just me being a fucking dickhead over the weekend that really caused that shift. But speaking about that though, if I was a pessimistic person, that could have thrown me into the dumps and caused me to be harder on myself than I really should have been and caused it to make myself hate a lot of stuff and realize oh fuck me you know all these things are going against me the world is out to get me woe is me type deal and listen if you're a pessimistic person i'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do or how to live your life but i'll say this about pessimism pessimism is very easily spread so just be aware of the pessimism that you may have in life and how it affects others in your life just be aware of it because you never know who you could be influencing in what way and how. And you could be poisoning the well of another person who could be optimistic 
who could be uh, looking for you for guidance and stuff like that. But for some reason, you turn your guidance into something that is a catastrophe for them. So you have to be careful about it and be aware of your surroundings. Uh, not necessarily against you being the person that you are, but be aware that the person that you are affects your world around you. So be careful of the people around you because you never know what you could say that could ruin somebody else's life with something so small. And we'll get into that in a different video, but you'd be surprised how much an influence you could have on somebody that you didn't even know. It could be something as small and little as a person that you interact with once a month to somebody that is very near and dear to you who will listen to you all the time. You just never know. But just be aware of that because then you aren't aware of that. You couldn't entirely change the trajectory of somebody else's life without even realizing it. so just be aware but with that being said tell me what you think in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about this because i am very curious about what your thoughts are on pessimism if you're a pessimistic type of person optimistic type of person we talked about this last time but i would love to know please leave it in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts if you know anybody or hear or heard anything one video in the future will be about realism so like i would like to be realistic that's another way of saying pessimism but it's slightly different there are certain things that i'll give them a slight little bit of a slack but it's slightly different than pessimism like i was saying the realism is something i might have discussed in the voiceover but if i haven't that might be its own video with that being said though tell me what you think in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about these types of things because it is a very interesting subject to me personally with that being said thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe i will be back on tomorrow with another video thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one take care peace